Welcome to Good Knit Kisses Techniques and Tutorials. Hi, I'm Kristen. We're teaching techniques and tutorials at Good Knit Kisses to help keep you in stitches. <laughs> Today's clip is from a longer video, a, a longer tutorial that is a pattern. We are going to shorten it down for you today, so click on the link in the description below if you'd like more information or that full video tutorial. All right, let's begin. Okay, so you've got all your squares ready to go, and I'm just showing you a sample here of what it looks like stitched up. It looks really nice and flat. There is no ridge here on either side. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. You're just gonna need some of your yarn that you have left over. Uh, it doesn't matter which color. And you'll need your scissors and a wide-eyed tapestry needle and your pattern. And we have the assembly diagram. You're just going to be taking these and laying them out in the right patterning. So just concentrate on one of these columns at a time. Grab five of them in the right color order. So B, A, C, B, A. Or you can start over here. It doesn't matter. And then you want to make sure and line up the ridges either vertically or horizontally. So wherever you see it with white, you're going to use this little key down here and you're going to make sure the ridges are running this direction for horizontal. Okay, so these ridges are along this way. Whenever you see it gray, you're going to run the ridges vertically like this. Okay, all right, so I'm going to show you how to stitch this up. Grab your supplies and I will see you in a second. Okay, so I've got this lined up. This is one on the top left of my diagram. I've got B here with it running horizontal, and I've got A running vertical that's going below it. Now I want to stitch up from right to left here or left to right, whichever one you're more comfortable with. Uh, I actually find that if I turn it this way and I kind of push them together like this, it actually is easier for me to see what stitches I need to work with. So I want you first to notice this area here, this is either, it doesn't matter, um, your, either your cast on edge or your bind off or cast off edge. So they both look the same. They have this chain throughout here, like this, see these little sides of the knit stitches here? And so you're gonna be picking up one of these legs here. And then on the purl bumps, you'll be picking up one of these outside purl bumps here. So, um, or it's like from the top side of, of this one here. So first we need to go in uh, to, I'm, I'm going from the right side, you can start on the right or the left, just be consistent with how you do it. I'm just gonna pick up this here on the very edge, pull through my scrap piece of yarn, leave a little bit of a tail, and I've got about three times the length here of this width and enough for a tail on either end. And I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, pick that up. Pull that through. Get my tail out here, okay. And then I'm gonna go back through there one more time. And this is the only time I do that. And we'll just pull that nice and snug. Not super tight in case you've got it um, got it uh, a little offset, but you want to make sure that these are lined up. You're going to want to make sure this all stays uh, lined up here. Okay, so I'm going to first come to the right side over here, and I'm going to pick up this first stitch that I come to. Okay, go through it. Pull our yarn through, and I'm going to go over on this left side over here and pick up this outside purl bump here. Pull all the way through. Go to my right and pick up this leg of the stitch here. Okay, so we're just going through this little side area, the top leg of that stitch here on the top side. And then go over to this other side and pick up that purl bump there. And so I'm just zigzagging across the top, making what sort of looks like a little whip stitch going around, but I'm really just grabbing the front of it. I'm not going through completely to the other side. If I did go to the other side, it would create a ridge. So just continue going across and then picking up that purl bump. Now you can also pick up two at the same time. I would be careful about um, doing it too quickly though. Um, pick up one and then the next and then guide your yarn through it very gently so that you're not pulling it too tightly. Okay, so you wanna make it really consistent. 
And then the time will come where you may have too many uh, on one side versus the other. And you may have to go back a little bit just to make sure that it's all lining up correctly. But what happens is when you get um, along here, you may decide that um, your this knitting here is maybe just slightly shorter. And so you'll have to just pick up a few more stitches in here to accommodate on the other side. And what I do in that case is, let's say I need to, I need to pick up a couple extra stitches on this side. I would just go back through one of these and then pick up the next one down and then continue on. So we want to kind of keep them all lined up. But um, if you have to uh, ease that fullness there, it's a sewing term, if you need to ease that up, then that's a nice easy way to do it. If you find that you're all the way to the end and then it's kind of puckering up, you may have to pull out a few stitches and just go back. And, and once you've done a few of these, you've really gotten the hang of it for later on and you'll have the technique down for sewing all these panels in. I would suggest if you're doing this as a family project that um, maybe only one person or two people do the sewing part, um, but everybody else is doing the little, um, the knitting part. And then that way, um, the sewing is a little bit more um, the same. Okay, so keep on going with your sewing and um, we'll be back up and I'll show you how to connect those panels. All right, see you soon. Thanks for joining me on Good Knit Kisses Technique Tutorials. Be sure to subscribe and also comment down below and tell me what techniques and stitches that you would like to see. Have a great day and happy knit and crochet.